Hello everyone, is the Prophet Michael David, aka Aries, and uh, it's uh, been a few weeks. Uh, because mostly I've had math on the brain, hence the title of this video. But I promised I was going to do more of the uh, war between men and women now. I'm going to do the, uh, the women video first. I have screenshots, but I still need to work on the structure. So today is kind of like a filler video, but I'm going to show you what I've been doing on the math stuff that I've been so obsessed with, or kind of broad strokes. Also, really quick, uh, I probably shouldn't have done this video yesterday because it was September 29th, and that is Michael Mass, uh, the Archangel Michael's um, day, um, my namesake. So without further ado, so again, uh, happy belated Michael Mass, but without further ado, uh, we're going to go into some math stuff that I've been working on. I'm going to ramble a little bit, do some background, and I'm not going to go into it too deeply, but it's about perfect numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to show you my, I call it a conjecture kind of just because it's right, but I need supercomputers to check it the way it is. So I'm going to show you the screenshot real quick and then explains why it solves at least while there are no odd perfect numbers. And then from there, I'll show you what I've been working on. All right, I've shown that many times before, but that's my OG perfect numbers conjecture, but I'm gonna explain why it solves while there's no odd perfect numbers. And you can just skip the top stuff, just go to the bottom. Therefore, all perfect numbers must fall on the modulus lines, one mod nine, four mod six, and seven mod three. All right, so basically what's that saying? Everybody knows about the one mod nine. You can find that on Wiki. And for the same reason, seven mod three has the same numbers as one mod nine, just has it's denser with numbers. But the thing about those two lines <clears throat> is that they alternate between odd and even. So by itself that the uh, numbers that fall on those lines does not prove that, you know, there can't be an odd perfect number. But the four mod six number does because by definition there can, there can only be even numbers on the four mod six. Overall, it's an argument on symmetry. I have many other arguments uh, that show that perfect numbers have to have symmetry in different dimensions, uh, three dimensions, two dimensions. Uh, what we're doing right now is digital root, which again is synonymous with base nine or mod nine numbers. So in a nutshell, that's the OG proof. So, why is it hard to prove or why do I sometimes call it a conjecture is because the numbers get so big. I mean, these aren't hard mathematical operations. You could use supercomputers, but you would still have to have large enough computers and databases to hold all of the perfect numbers. Again, remember the first perfect number is six and that's the only odd one out that doesn't uh, account to that. Uh, that's the first one's always weird, but 28, 496, the rest of them all do fall on the four mod six line, but you can check those easily, and I have, but to check the 50th and the 51st number, which are over 20 million digits long, you have to have a big enough database and computer, but really the check is pretty easy. You take the actual perfect number, the 25 million digit or over 20 million digit long number, you subtract four and divide by six, and if it's a whole number, it falls on that mod line, the four mod six line, but if it has a decimal, it doesn't, so it's really easy to check these if you have the actual means to do so, but I do not. And for the same reason, you could take the Mersenne primes, which make the perfect numbers, and those all end in one and seven and have to fall on the one mod six line. So all you'd have to do to check the largest Mersenne prime is take the that number, which is however many millions of digits long, subtract one and divide by six. And if it's a whole number, it lies on that line, which all of the First ones do, I assure you I've checked them, but I don't have the means to check the largest ones, although I know this to be true. It's a real Godel thing for me right now. So that being said, recently talking to some of my muses, just about normal stuff, um, not anything math related, but I was trying to explain some aspects to them and I thought of different ways of proving perfect numbers other than the way I did, because it's hard to check because of the computing power if necessary. And so I started looking at some other stuff. I'm not gonna go into details, but I, I got an idea of a different way 
to prove that there are no odd perfect numbers. And so uh, it started out with a spreadsheet that became very large because I can use equations to help me out, but I still have to type the equations in multiple times because of the way I had to structure it. And I'll show you just a, a second. And granted, this thing is all the way zoomed out so you can see the size, the scale that the spreadsheet is right now. And I need to do that because I got to do it longer and longer columns to get more and more data points. So it's a lot of work and I'm dil diligently trying to do it. So here's the zoom out of the, the regular spreadsheet. Okay, and so again, I'm not gonna tell you exactly what I did, but as you can see, it's a substan substantial amount of work and it has a definite, definite format, kind of looks like a giant triangle and everything. But from there, I sift through that data and collate parts of that and make other spreadsheets, and then eventually I get to doing graphs because I just do a bunch of equations and stuff. And when I did it this time, um, again, I'm dealing with, I'm trying to prove there are no odd perfect numbers. I found this pattern, this waveform, that was really, really interesting, and uh, here it is. All right, stare at it as long as you would like. I've stared at it for a substantial amount of time because um, I didn't su suspect it. But what that is, is some sort of waveform that starts out just above two and quickly waveforms to um, pi. That's why I put it in that black line. That's a custom line. I did the first like 12 digits of pi. So that's really close to pi. And that waveform gets up there and maybe I should go this way. And I'm pretty sure it's going to converge on pi, which brought me to the next question. What do perfect numbers and pi have to do with each other? And so I know part of it. Um, I think I do. But again, I have to maybe maybe it doesn't. Maybe it continues to go above pi, but I don't think it will. I think it'll converge on pi. So but again, I need to make the spreadsheet larger and larger, which is going to take more and more work. It just takes time. But uh, yeah, so that's what I've been doing and why I have not made that many videos yet. Um, and now before I sign off, I guess I'll comment on the, the men versus women stuff or the next videos a, a little bit. All right, firstly, I'm not gonna say the uh, men versus women videos that I'm gonna make in the near future, relatively speaking, uh, will be the exact next ones because I said that last time and I feel bad about, you know, partially line. I'm sorry for line. Um, just, you know, I've been gathering data and screenshots. I just still need to go through the process to actually make a video. That's not me totally rambling about it. Uh, I'm highly organized. So that being said, and plus the math stuff right now, if I get caught in more math stuff, all deals are off. I'm going to keep working on perfect numbers, but keep watching the relationship videos or the, the dating videos right now that have been popping up on my YouTube. But that being said, I'll give you the broad strokes, the name of the, the women's video, is going to be first. It's going to be named My Girls, and then the guy's video is My Boys. So please don't be offended at the titles. I'm just trying to be enduring, not um, offensive. And if you are, grow thicker skin. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but on the, the, the My Girls video, the women's video, I'm basically going to shit on you all um, and tell you why you should have much more love and respect for men but then on the the men's video the my boys video i'm going to do the same thing to them and tell them why they shouldn't shit as much on women and appreciate them much more so i've told you before why i have a specific foot on both sides of the spectrum i am a man i've gone through a lot of not a lot of dating problems but you know I can see the whip, the men's argument in a lot of ways, but then on the other hand, I don't have any male friends except for my one bestie from 25 years ago. Uh, but all my current friends now and all my interactions are with women and they're all good. So, um, yeah, so that's where I'm coming from. All right, shorter video than uh, usual, but that's not a bad thing. So uh, signing off, as always, rule number one, do not touch other people without their consent, a.k.a. do not hurt each other. And rule number two, it's all about honesty, lies are ticked down, a.k.a. try not to lie. All right. I love you all. Try to have a good day, and uh, hopefully we'll speak here soonish.